Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have been wanting to do this video for a long time now, but I'm kind of glad that I waited because a few things have changed. And I really wanted to give you guys a realistic idea of what I'm eating lately. Everybody is different, so obviously what we get from the grocery store and the meal plan that I follow might not be the right thing for you or your family. I just wanted to share with you guys what we're doing to try and be healthier because as you guys know as a family we eat a lot of takeout we go out to restaurants a lot to eat and i prepare a lot of frozen food a lot of really quick meals because i feel like as a mom i'm always scrambling and trying to um i just feel like i'm always behind i feel like there's always been another task that's not getting finished throughout the day and so i've just never made cooking a huge priority even though i do realize now that cooking should be one of your top priorities and other things can slip but i think that what you eat what you put in your body is one of the most important things. So I've changed what I buy from the grocery store, the type of foods that I go for. I do have Nurture Life for the girls and that has been a steady lifesaver for them because even though I've been in a hurry to get the girls um, meals on the table, they haven't been sacrificing nutrients because of us having a busy schedule because Nurture Life has all the nutrients that they need and the meals, they're complete uh, fresh made meals. So the girls still eat Nurture Life, but this, what I'm gonna show you is stuff that we eat when I'm actually cooking meals, <laughs> which is funny to say. We, you also know that we eat HelloFresh, and we've been eating HelloFresh now for probably two years or longer. I don't know um, how long it's been since we started, but HelloFresh has been very steady in our household for dinners. And HelloFresh has made it easy for me because I don't have to meal plan and all the ingredients are right there for me. So when I have HelloFresh meals in the house, I don't have an excuse not to cook something because it is pretty simple, 20 to 30 minutes a meal. So about three nights a week, sometimes four nights a week, we do have HelloFresh. So everything else that I'm about to show you is what fills in the gaps between Nurture Life and HelloFresh. I've not been on YouTube now for over a week, as you guys know, and I appreciate your patience. The girls had the flu. They got diagnosed with the flu last Last, I think Adeline got diagnosed with it last Friday and then Skyla got her fever on Saturday So it's been almost an entire week since we had that diagnosis The girls were feeling better within a couple of days of starting Tamiflu And so I'm finally happy to say that they have recovered from it But for a few days there I just wanted to take some time off and focus on my family And so like I said, I really appreciate you guys patience, but I'm back and I'm ready to show you guys a grocery haul and easy meal plan that works for us. So I kind of laid out everything that we eat um, or everything that I get on a regular basis at the grocery store. So this is the milk that the girls drink. It's just the Horizon Organic Whole Milk. I always grab usually two big bunches of bananas. This is something that I get almost every time I'm there because rotisserie chicken is just super easy. It makes it easy for us to get protein in, um, and I think it tastes amazing. You can put it in anything. Um, I usually get the golden potatoes because they taste so good, and they go really good if you're cooking a chicken breast, baking a chicken breast, and um, potatoes, and then a veggie at night. I always use this chopped garlic, although I've been told recently that since it's not fresh garlic, you don't get all the same benefits, but if you want a quick alternative to fresh garlic cloves, um, I use these a lot and it just makes things really simple and quick when you're cooking. This is the organic long grain brown rice that we've been using. This is a naughty thing that we do, but recently I've been going and getting the fresh loaves of bread at HEB and then we slice it ourselves. They also make some that are already sliced, but this is like one of our guilty pleasures. It's just so good. It's hard to pass up. These are the eggs that I normally get. Um, they are the pasture-raised, no hormones, no antibiotic eggs. We always get a big um, container of grapes because our oldest daughter, Skyla, loves grapes. She asks for them all throughout the day. Cut and peeled carrots that I dip into hummus. These are my favorite strawberries. They're always the most beautiful, delicious strawberries, the HEB Organics brand. Um, whenever they have these out, I usually get at least two containers of them. Here's some H-E-B brand roasted garlic hummus. It's really good when you dip the carrots in. I've been loving this salsa lately, so I wanted to share it with you guys. It's the Joe T. Garcia Salsa Picante, and it's, a, it's very hot. It, it's medium, but it's spicy, spicy. It burns my tongue, but I love it. This is my favorite yogurt. Um, it's the Wee French-style yogurt, and it's more of like a custard, but it is 
so good. Um, I love the packaging, but I just love that it's really thick and I find that I crave it a lot. For the girls, I usually get these tubes of uh, yogurt, but I normally get this brand the Stonyfield Organic brand, and I put them in the freezer, and Skyla thinks they are popsicles. They love these, but of course she saw the frozen um, Go-Gurts with Olaf on them, so she wanted these last time we were at Target, so I grabbed them. We always have these pouches on hand. The girls love these, and they get them for breakfast a lot. One of my favorite um, fruits is kumquats, and a lot of people don't even know what they are, but they're extremely sour, tiny, tiny, petite little oranges, and they're like, Oh, they're so tangy and good. I love them. I've loved them since I was little. I also usually, I did not mean to get spicy. Nick must have picked that up last time. But I normally get the mild guacamole. It is so good. Um, the H-E-B fresh made guacamole. These are very simple to just throw in your bag when you're running out the door for the kids and they love them. They're just these fresh apple fries, but you can't go wrong with them. We also always get a container of apples or just pick out an assortment at the store. Lemons for water. I usually squeeze an entire lemon lately in my water. I, it makes me drink so much water. We get the little cuties um, normally for the girls, but I've been craving a lot, craving them a lot in my pregnancy. Um, these are just big oranges. I've been craving oranges, and I've also been craving grapefruit with salt. I absolutely love grapefruit with salt. And then I've got these, and I forgot what these are even called. They're like, it says plums, but they're yellow and they're really good Dutchy, get down. Um, they're kind of tangy and sweet all at the same time. And I found them at HEB, it's the first time I've ever tried them and I love them. And then I always get key limes for my water, or not always, but ever since I've been trying to get more water in, key limes and lemons really help me. A little bag of avocados, frozen blueberries for my smoothies. I always get at least three packages of chicken breast. This is, I haven't tried it yet, um, it's, I've had it for quite a while now, but right after I got it is when the girls got sick and I just kind of wasn't focusing on myself and I haven't been um, really on a set meal plan for myself, but I've ordered this and my uh, trainer Amber recommended it and Amber said it is the best granola you can get. These are Quaker Overnight Oats and they come in I think three different flavors, at least three. Power Crunch Bar, these are my absolute favorite protein bars and my favorite flavor of them is peanut butter fudge. The two cracker brands that I love are Back to Nature. These are the multi-seed rice thins and these are the Blue Diamond Artesian Nut Thins with sesame seeds. And these are good in the guacamole as well as the hummus. I know this is not by any means the best peanut butter that you can get, but I love it because it's really smooth and easy to put on bread for the girls. If you have a sweet tooth, these rice cakes are great snacks. I love the chocolate ones. They have little chocolate, little like chocolate pieces on them. The apple cinnamon is great too. And then I haven't tried these yet, but I did get lightly salted because Amber told me that putting avocado on it, um, smashed avocado is really good. And then these are the two chip brands that she recommended. It is, there's, they come in, this brand is the grain-free tortilla chips, and I think it's Siete, um, but they're sea salt, they're made with avocado oil and lime, and then there's also a nacho flavor that's really good. So now that I've shown you what I normally get at the grocery store, I'm gonna tell you a meal plan that my trainer, Amber, gave me just to get started off, and this is like super simple. She based it on the foods that I already like to eat, and then she incorporated healthier options. So I'm gonna go ahead and share that meal plan with you guys. Amber is my trainer that I've worked with off and on now for a long time if you guys have followed me. If you guys are in need of a really good trainer, I'm gonna add her information in the description bar below. The way these meal plans are set up are based on days that I'm working out in the morning, days that I'm working out in the afternoon, and days that I'm not working out at all. And to be honest with you guys, I've only got a handful of workouts in in the past couple of weeks just because things have been so crazy. I just haven't been focusing on myself and paying that much attention on myself lately. And so my workouts have been few and far between, but one of the things that Amber has Said that's really stuck with me is that sometimes you can't control whether or not you have time to work out but you can control what you're putting in your body and that's something that's kind of always been in the back of my head even though I have no problem stuffing my face with bean and cheese tacos from Taco Cabana you know it's still in the back of my head so on morning workout days she has me with pre-workout having one tortilla two scrambled eggs and one tablespoon of salsa and then drinking eight ounces of water. And then before my workout, she put down the best thing to drink is a grande almond milk latte with one pump of flavor. 
from Starbucks because I normally get Starbucks in the mornings. I'm just addicted. You guys know I love it so much. The reason she didn't say sugar-free syrup is because she said the chemicals in sugar-free syrup is way worse for you than just having the regular sugar syrup. Post-workout, she even put in here my favorite thing from Chick-fil-A, which is the chicken bagel from Chick-fil-A. So she said, one chicken bagel from Chick-fil-A and order a large iced water. And so, but that's only on days that I work out in the morning, which is not often. So I haven't really been having very many chicken bagels. But when I do, that's my treat for afterwards because she said the macros on that are not very bad. And I'm also pregnant, so I can eat a little bit more <laughs> at this point in my life but I just love those chicken bagels and I asked her if she could incorporate them into my meal plan and she did. Lunch, two tortillas, a quarter cup of refried black beans, a sprinkle of cheese, veggies of choice, so like lettuce, tomato, spinach, and salsa. And then you have eight ounces of water with that. For an afternoon snack, 10 baby carrots, sliced cucumbers, as many as you want, and two tablespoons of hummus. One rice cake plus one tablespoon of nut butter. I don't have nut butter because I just do not like any nut butter other than peanut butter. So I'm trying to, she said that Trader Joe's has a really good nut butter and I need to go over there and grab that because I just, I don't, almond butter is okay, but it's just peanut butter is where it's at. And then for dinner, this is where, I, where the baked chicken breast and the potato came in. She said a really good dinner is a baked chicken breast with a side of veggies of your choice and one small baked potato with 16 ounces of water. So that's an, a morning workout day. Okay, so an afternoon workout day, she has here for breakfast, two whole eggs scrambled, a handful of spinach. I don't like cooked spinach, so when I'm doing spinach, I have to do it on the side with like oil and vinegar because I, I despise cooked spinach. Salsa, one piece of toast and a quarter of an avocado smashed on it with eight ounces of water. For my morning snack, the Wee Vanilla Yoplait Yogurt, the one that I showed you guys that I really like. A half cup of pro granola. I've been using a different granola. I haven't switched over to this one yet, but I was just using a plain HEB organic granola brand that I really like, but I'm sure it's way too high in sugar. And then drink eight ounces of water. So lunch, pre-workout, two tortillas, shredded lettuce and spinach combo, four ounces of shredded chicken, and that's where the rotisserie chicken comes in. Two tablespoons of avocado or guacamole, and salsa or hot sauce. Here she has in a Starbucks pink drink if I want it. So that it would be on days that I work out in the afternoon and she's allotted me a Starbucks pink drink because I have been craving pink drinks so much and not a lot, not as much lately, but I was for a while craving pink drinks. I was drinking them every day, but she has them here um, in my plan for days that I work out in the afternoon. So that's kind of an incentive for me to get an afternoon workout in for that pink drink. A post-workout snack would be one piece of fruit, and a scoop of BioTrust. So BioTrust is my protein. I don't have it out here, I'll grab it. So this is the BioTrust protein that I've used when I'm pregnant and nursing, and it's the vanilla cream one. You can get it on Amazon. But I really love this protein. It's really good in smoothies, but the smoothies that I make on my own, I use one cup of blueberries, one cup of milk, or whatever milk you like to use, cinnamon, and one scoop of um, this protein. That's it, blueberries, cinnamon, milk, protein powder, it's so good. But she has it in here as in me just having the protein shake on its own, so like mixing that with water and then having a piece of fruit. But I could definitely just blend the fruit with it if I wanted to. The milk is something that, Amber is dairy free, so she would probably say to use almond milk. I hate almond milk, you guys, I use coconut milk. Um, I just, I can't, I just do not like almond milk, but I know that's what she would tell me to use. And then for dinner on these days, she says one, one HelloFresh meal and 20 ounces of water because she knows that we eat HelloFresh. And now the last meal plan, this is on a non-workout day, so literally the majority of my days are non-workout days <laughs> lately. But this would be a idea of a day for me on a non-workout day. Morning breakfast, half a cup of oatmeal, half a cup of blueberries, one tablespoon of nut butter, and one scoop of the BioTrust protein. Now, a lot of people in the fitness world, I have learned this, they put protein in their oatmeal. I have yet to do it because I'm very skeptical of this. It sounds disgusting and I haven't even tried it. I did back whenever I was um, pregnant with Adeline. I was doing the Tammy Hembro meal plan and I tried it and I just couldn't do it. So I haven't tried this yet, Amber, <laughs> because I'm scared of it. So I kind of just like, I can do the oatmeal, the blueberries, and the nut butter, but the protein, I'm just gonna have to 
put that into a smoothie with blueberries or something because it's just, it's hard for me to get around putting protein into oatmeal. What do you guys think? Are y'all are y'all about that life? I don't know. A morning snack, two rice cakes, half an avocado smashed, or two tablespoons of nut butter with sea salt and garlic, optional. Half a cup of sliced strawberries and eight ounces of water. For lunch, two slices of bread, two ounces of sliced deli turkey, one slice of cheese, and any and all veggies, load them on. Condiment options, hummus, mustard, or avocado as a spread with eight ounces of water. And for the deli turkey, a lot of people who are pregnant heat up their deli meat. I know that everybody is different on whether they will eat the deli meat or not, but for me, I don't have a, I ate deli meat a lot in, my, in both of my previous pregnancies, and so I am still eating deli meat. An afternoon snack, a Power Crunch bar, I showed you guys those, and then dinner would be a serving of a HelloFresh meal. So that's a pretty simple, um, basic plan for, um, like, just to give you ideas. And that was why she made that plan. It wasn't for me to follow it strictly, but it was for me to be like, okay, it's snack time, like, what do I have in the fridge or in the pantry that I can go for instead of what I would normally eat, which is just not good, just prepackaged, highly processed stuff. And so with this meal plan, I was able to go to the grocery store and buy a lot of those things so that now when I'm hungry, I have healthy things to get rather than what I used to eat. Since the girls have been sick, I did cook a couple different things that are not on that plan and that I haven't talked about. One of them was a really simple chicken ramen soup. So it's like the easiest, fastest soup. And I'm going to put links down below to what I'm about to talk about. But basically, it's like chicken broth, ramen noodles, seasonings, sliced up, um, green onions, and what else? I mean, that's pretty much it. I mean, it is instant. It is the quickest thing. And I know ramen noodles are not the greatest for, for you, but the girls ate it and they loved it. The broth is so good. Um, and I loved it too. I'm not by any means saying like that's like a, like a super food healthy thing to eat. But if you're sick and you're looking for a quick chicken noodle soup, the chicken noodle soup I normally make takes a little bit of time. Dutchie. The second thing I made was a tomato basil soup, and it was all from scratch, and it was so good once I blended it. In the recipe, it said to use a stick blender at the end to smooth it out, and I didn't know what a stick blender meant, but I'll show you because I ordered one on Amazon. This right here is a stick blender. Um, I haven't used it yet, but basically, it you can make salsa, smoothies, soup, or pastries. I don't know, guys, but um, I have it now, but it's a stick blender, and I was like thinking like, okay, so like a, I don't know what I was thinking, but I didn't realize that it wanted me to blend all the ingredients, so, so I didn't have this at the time, so I ended up just putting it in a food processor, and it ended up working out, and it was really good, so I recommend that tomato basil soup if you're looking for a really good scratch tomato basil soup recipe. And the last thing is from the Newlywed Cookbook, and we got this um, as a wedding gift, and it's on page 113. It's called Kitchen Sink Fried Rice, and it's not necessarily a sick recipe, but it's one of my favorites. Um, it is very heavy. There's a lot of oil in it. This isn't like a health recipe by any means, but it's very good. Um, it does have soy sauce and sriracha. Um, so before, if you're gonna make this and you have kids, right before it asks you to add in the soy sauce and sriracha, I just take out whatever I'm gonna give the girls to eat. So I've made it twice in the past week because that's how good it is. And we had all the ingredients for it, so I wanted to make it twice. I had a lot of leftover rice, but this is meant to be made with leftovers that you have already in your fridge. Um, and so for the girls, I just took theirs out before I added the soy sauce and sriracha. I did add butter and I know Adding butter just makes it not healthy, but the girls love this. And um, once I take that out for the girls, when you add the soy sauce and sriracha, it is just so good for you and whoever else, whichever else adult you have that you're gonna be eating with, you'll love it. So those are my recommendations and I will have links because I think if you don't have this cookbook, there is a link to that recipe online that I can get you guys. I think there's a bunch of different variations and um, you can use 
different veggies depending on what kind of veggies you like. So I'll have that linked in the description bar. But that's going to be it for this video and if all goes well I'll see you guys on Monday with our weekend vlog. And then after that I am going to be doing a haul of different outfits and accessories and items that I got for a trip I'm going on with some of my friends to Florida and I don't know if it's going to be warm yet because the trip is next weekend and I don't know yet if it's going to be warm um, or what the weather is going to be like. So I'm going to have to be bringing sweaters and things like that. But I am going to show you guys a haul because maybe if you have a vacation coming up, like a spring or summer vacation coming up, maybe some of these items will be perfect for you for your upcoming vacation. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please subscribe and hit the thumbs up button if you haven't already. Make sure your bell notification is on so you get an alert every time I upload a video. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Touches. Ow.